Okay, uh, poof. If you've not watched these videos, go do it now, because this is part of a series. Now, I'm going to assume that you did, and you know what the One Life Challenge is, but if not, the One Life Challenge is basically where I have one life to beat, and it's one to five. And if I lose, uh, on a deathless run, I have to beat Knights 1 to 5 without dying once, and if I lose, I have to retry with a new game. Alright? So far, FNAF 2 is the only one I've actually been able to do it on. Tomorrow is another day. <sighs> yeah. So far... <laughs> and so far, I've not got past Night 2 in this series, so... Okay. Squeaky, squeaky! Can I get an Easter egg? Eh. So yeah, so far, uh, FNAF 2, the only game I've beat without dying. Also, if you didn't know, that is the man, the legend, Scott Cawthon himself on the wall right there. Does that mean William Afton in-universe looks like Scott? Something to think about, because this is William Afton's house! Or I guess it could be Michael. So this question, the ultimate question, does Scott look like... Uh, does Michael look like Scott, or does William look like Scott? <laughs> I never thought about the implications of the pictures being on the wall before. Okay, so anyway, you should know how the One Life Challenge works. If you went and watched those other videos, which I'm going to assume you did, because I told you to. It's part of a series, you don't want to watch them out of order, do you? You want to see me scream as much as possible. That's why you come to a FNAF video. Alright, anyway. <sighs> this is my retry. My first retry. Last episode did not go very well. I hear footsteps already. I think I need a little more volume. Oops, did not mean to do that. Alright, I turned my volume up just a little bit. I think I'm okay now. I think FNAF 4 is the only one that really... still gets me nervous when I play it. But my opinion of it has changed a lot. Uh, for years, I never touched this game because I was so scared of it, but playing it now, I actually am really enjoying it. Not so much enjoying getting teeth in my face every ten minutes, but you know what I mean. Hey. I know actually turning my head to the door doesn't do anything, but I, I just can't help it. The dread this game makes you feel is unrivaled by any other in the series. <sighs> Hi. The having to turn the light on...
Shh. Go away. Be gone. I knew it. Chica's still in the kitchen. Chica's still in the kitchen. I keep hearing utensils and glasses and plates. Yes, eat something in there instead of coming for me. She's still in the kitchen. The ambience, though, and everything is just whoo. She's still in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. I was thinking there, you know, I, I said I got inspired to play FNAF 4 by, you would have saw it earlier in the video. My story followed because it ended with a kid waking up in the middle of the night and seeing a monster outside their window. I was like, it'd be kind of fun to make a FNAF-like game just of that scene, you know, having to ward off the monster. That'd be kind of neat. Hello, Mr. Jack-o'-lantern. Hello, Mangle. You don't, I know. I just have to say hi to Mangle. Mangle's my favorite. Mangle's probably gonna be the one who munches me now. All right, here we go. Ugh. How about no? I hate you. I will not help you count your teeth. <laughs> oh, screw that! Screw that! Strobe light you. Are you just still gonna murder me? If, probably. I think you do jump me if I lose, anyway. I'm ready for it! Come on! Hi. I'm ready for it! Oh, I really thought he did! Now I'm going to die because it's night two. And I haven't been able to beat night two once in this game. Great. I'm so happy. I'm here. The jump is crazy on nights one and two. Hi! It reminds me of the ultimate custom night personal challenge. What the fuck? Oh, screw that! How'd you already get in? I was right. Oh, you don't stop, do you?
Oh my gosh! Chica's not there. Okay. I heard the kitchen noises. Chica's still not there. Okay. Just gotta go in a loop around the room. It's fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but I didn't want it to. Do you people who like watching Five Nights at Freddy's enjoy seeing us who, who are brave enough to play it squirm and get terrified? Because that was one of the most terrifying nights at Freddy's or in my own house I've ever had. <laughs> Jeez. Ah! Alright. Well. That run is ruined. Now I've got to go back to night one. Hey, I've told this story many times, but I've never had a nightmare about these guys. You know who I have had a nightmare, or rather a waking nightmare about? FNAF Plus Bonnie. Uh, just over a year ago now, it was like the last week of December, I was sick. I think I probably had... I think I probably had the vid. <laughs> and um, I woke up three times in one night, delirious from fever, and I saw that render of FNAF plus Bonnie on the stage standing at the foot of my bed three times that night. Every time I woke up, he was there. And I was so out of it that I looked at that every time. I knew what it was, and I just shrugged. I didn't care that this face was staring back at me every time I woke up in the middle of the night, illuminated by my TV screen. So, yeah. Okay, rant over. Seriously, that was terrifying. Mangle getting in the room, legit, was terrifying. <sighs> but the nice thing about Five Nights at Freddy's, once the scare happens, it's over. <laughs> once the jump hits you, it's over. The tension is released, so. Alright. I will be back. I'm switching over to the normal version for this one. If you saw the other episode. But you should go do. You know that that's what I do in this series. So I'll be right back. Here we are once again. At five days until the party. <sighs> Let me out. I'm going to go all the shining on this door. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't have an axe, so it's not quite as easy. On Freddy's nose for good luck. Can you? Ah, uh, you can't if the light's off. Speaking of plus, that's going to be one of the first things I do, I guarantee it, is honk the nose. You know it's going to be there. I can't think of anything else that would put FNAF fans in more of a riot than that game not having the nose honking. <laughs> so it'll, I know it'll be there. Alright, so here we are once again on night one. Starting again with a fresh life that I can't lose between... I, even if by some miracle, as I am getting better at this game, even if by some miracle I got through nights one to four, 
I don't know if I could beat Night 5, because I don't know how Fredbear works. I don't know how Fredbear works. And this series is, if you saw the FNAF 2 one, it was trying to beat FNAF 1 without dying once, uh, retrying it, and then a final retry. That's what I'm doing here. This is my retry, and the next episode, if I don't beat it in this one, will be my final retry. So, yeah. I also am going to retry the FNAF 3 One Life Challenge. Uh, probably after this video. After this video, I think. Thank goodness the nights in this game are not as long as they are in FNAF 1. In FNAF 1, they're like, like about 9 minutes. Thank goodness. They're only like... They're only like... What? Seven minutes, six minutes, like that in this game. Five minutes even? I'm not exactly sure. I think they're five or six minutes in this game. <sighs> Who's your favorite nightmare animatronic? Mine is Jacko Chica. Chica actually is my favorite in just a lot of the games. She's my favorite in the original. Withered Chica is my favorite in FNAF 2, though my favorite animatronic out of everyone is Mangle. Now count with me, everybody. It takes three to four seconds. Four. Let's work on our counting together, everybody. Can you count to four with me? Let's do it in Spanish this time. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That is pretty much all the Spanish I know. I took a semester of Spanish in high school and I was awful at it. I was awful at Spanish. Absolutely awful. Hello, little Freddle. Go away. I loved having a swarm of Freddles in FNAF World. Freddle Swarm! If any of you remember. I don't appreciate having them here, though. <coughs> squeaky, squeaky! Can Nightmare Foxy appear on night one? I don't think so. Or maybe there's a rare chance. I thought he was there. I turned the light on even though I thought he might have been there. <laughs> no, it was just the ambience. I was like, that doesn't sound quite like the breathing. Ugh, night one is so peaceful and then night two is just hell. Okay, Chica's in the kitchen. I don't have to worry about her. She's still in the kitchen. Go away. 
She's still in the kitchen. Sounds like she's- She's getting the plates ready so they can eat me. <laughs> Yay! Well, they- she took too long. <sighs> Let's do this mini game we've all seen many times now. Four days until the party. Four days until I get my head bitten off by Fredbear. I guess they gotta wait for Fredbear. I know, let me leave. Uh, sorry, Mangle, I'm getting tired of this minigame. Hi, Michael! I know. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I never did look up the magic guide to tell me when to do the thing with you. Hello, cute. Boy. Cute spring trap. Mini version. I got you in one of my Ultimate Custom Night videos. I think it was the last one. Or rather, you got me. If you haven't seen my Ultimate Custom Night series, I made a personal challenge that was absurdly hard. Not 50-20 mode hard or anything, but still hard. And I beat it. But earlier I said that this reminded me of it because there was a part where I jumped the difficulty, was it, I think it was 8 to 10? The jump from 8 to 10, I think it was, on the AI? Or 5 to 8? It was one of the two. I think it was 8 to 10. And it was crazy difficult. The difficulty increase was just crazy. And the fact that Night 2 jumped so much reminds me of that. Because, like, I didn't see those guys at all on Night 1. But, and now I'll see them at, like, 12 a.m. on Night 2. Yeah, I know. Too bad. Great. Here we go. I'm so happy that I'm so happy that my choices led me to play this game again. <laughs> I love the clock background. I've said it before, but... Hi! I see your glowing eyes! The monster and Followed had glowing eyes! You should go listen to that, and all my other audio content. You saw it all at the beginning. Go give it a listen. I put a lot of work into those videos. Ah! I freaking jinxed it! I heard footsteps. I didn't hear breathing. I jinxed it, though. Earlier I thought, hey, I haven't died to anyone other than Bonnie. And then I was like in my head, I just jinxed it. And yes, I did. Oh, Chica regretted waiting so long on night one, so she made quick work of me on night two. Damn it! I just, I didn't even get past 12. And now I gotta go back to night one again. Alright then. Y'all know the drill. Let's get to it. I had to take a break to go watch myself beat this challenge in FNAF 2. Just so I could remind myself that I am good at FNAF. Just not this game. I'm not good at this game. I did do it in FNAF 2, though. Seriously, go watch that. I beat FNAF 2 without dying once. That felt really good. It was my last retry, too. I gave myself three, two reattempts, and that was my last one. And uh, I did it by the skin of my teeth. Here we are, on night one again!
This is also the last re-attempt I'm doing in this episode. My dog barked also. Not when I was recording, but right after I stopped he started barking, so... He almost interrupted me. Which we're used to in the NAF videos. Oh hey, my documentary, The Complete History of the Loch Ness Monster. The script is done! The script is finished. I have completed the script, and I'm going to record it this week. I don't have a release date, just like I don't have a release date for my books. Um, but it will be this month, I know that. The documentary will come out this month. I put a lot of work into that. I put a lot of work in my books, too. Which is what my audio narration stories are from. Please go check them out. All of those videos you saw at the beginning, please go give some of them a watch. If you want me to recommend one, uh, watch the Survivor's Daily Routine story. I think that one's pretty good. If you want a recommendation, anyway. If you're watching FNAF, you probably like horror. Well, that series is a slow-burning horror story, so... Go check it out. Just go check some of it out. I'm here getting terrified for your entertainment. At least humor me, alright? At least, at least give me something in return that's not teeth to the face. Oh, there's my dog. Now he's barking. I haven't heard the dog ambience for a while, though. Squeaky, squeaky, I need a confidence boost. And go check out my video of me beating Five Nights at Freddy's 2 without dying once. I did it. I really did. There's the end game dog. You know, whenever the Halloween DLC was in development and it was teased that one character would be switched up, obviously that character was Spring Trap, uh, Spring Trap, Plush Trap. My theory about that was what if when you beat his game, and I still kind of wish this was what happened instead of Balloon Boy you get him as an ally for the next night, where he'll sit, like, here or here to tell you which door is the bigger thing you need to worry about. Or if it's the closet, he'll sit in front of the closet. Or if you don't see him at all, then you know the thing on the bed needs work. Hi. I see your glowing eyes. Go check out Followed, everybody! The monster has glowing eyes! The tone of Follow, the ending scene, really is what got me in the mood to play this for the first time in years, so... Anyway, though, uh, I, d I still think that would have been really cool if Plush Trap was your ally for your next run. If you beat his minigame and he would warn you where the most pressing danger was. Like, he couldn't be everywhere at once. But he could, you know, sh sit where the most pressing danger is. I still think that would have been very cool. Okay, she's in the kitchen. I don't have to worry about her. Chica's in the kitchen, as always. Let's eat. Let's not. Let's not do that. Like I told you in my last FNAF 1 video. Let's not do that. Technically, you already did, though. You bit my head right off for everyone to see. Hi. Go away. And you, too. And you're not even here.
I wonder if the kitchen camera will still be disabled in plus. Probably. Man, I'm so excited for that game. I'm gonna play the whole thing when it comes out. I'm gonna, like... Oh, hey! Was that the pill bottle? It was! I just saw the pill bottle. I got an Easter egg. I get Easter eggs in my FNAF videos. I got one in my FNAF 3 One Life Challenge. I got a bunch in my FNAF 2 series. Go check it out. I got all kinds of Easter eggs. I even got them in my recent FNAF 1 video. So, lots of cool stuff to go check out. Patience is the name of the game in this game. I don't wait. I've died so many times because I don't wait long enough. You've got to wait at least three to four seconds, and I start panicking, and I only go like two. <sighs> Let's just get through this stupid minigame again. I'm getting so sick of it. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Michael. You're a real bro, you know that? Tomorrow's another day. Probably not. I'm probably gonna die again. Ugh! I'm getting tired of fun. Of fun. Fun with plush trap. Fun with plush trap. The plush trap tra chaser story in. Fazbear Frights is honestly fantastic. I loved it. I think I liked Into the Pit, the story, Into the Pit more, but... Um, Out of Stock, I think that's what it's called, the one with Plush Trap Chaser, was really good. I haven't read all the Fazbear Frights books. I, I've, I read the first two. Uh, maybe the first three, but I think, I think the first three. I think I read the first three. Maybe it was just the first two. Um, Count the Ways. I liked that one a lot, too. Uh, I read The Silver Eyes right when it came out, but I haven't since. I really need to because I bought all three of those books and I've never actually read any of them other than The Silver Eyes. I need to go back and read them again. Maybe after I put my own books out, Hey, you want to see what my own book is? Go check out my audio narrations. Right, Plush Trap? I also was making a FNAF fan game. Go check out my video of the story, because I canceled it. So go check out my video of the story of my canceled FNAF fan game. I had a whole story in mind. Night 2! Great! Who's going to murder me? Who's going to eat me? Who's it going to be? Who's going to bite off my frontal lobe? Now the nerves are going up again. Was that the pill bottle again? I think I saw it again. Oh my gosh, you're really determined to be the one, aren't you, Chica? This 
This game makes me panic. <sighs> that was Foxy! Heart starting to race. That delay, that little second delay when they're there, it makes me think I'm going to die. Go away. I was dead. Oh, crap. I didn't wait long enough. I didn't wait long enough. My gut told me he was there, but I didn't listen to it. Well, the next episode is going to be the last retry. I'm done for now. I'm done for now. I need a break. I need a break. <sighs> next episode, I'm going to play Five Nights at Freddy's 3 again. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, one life challenge retry. I don't know if I'm going to do two retries. I think I'm just going to do one. And I may or may not do a one life challenge for FNAF 1. I kind of doubt it because that'll come down to just some random luck, which I guess FNAF 2 did as well, but. Eh. I guess technically, but. I'm done for now. Alright, that's enough of that. I've had enough. I'm. This game scares me. This game legitimately scares me. Some of the other FNAF games don't anymore. I mean, they make me jump. This game legitimately scares me. And I'm done. I've had enough for today, okay? I've been recording for like an hour. I'm done for now. I will. I'm going to get this video edited, and I'm going to see you all in the next one, all right? Uh, please check out my audio content. If you really want me to recommend one, check out the a Survivor's Daily Routine. It's four videos. It's an overarching story. Uh, if you want just a one-off one that I think I could recommend, check out The Hybrid. People seem to really enjoy The Hybrid. I'm talking quickly to calm myself down after that. I was doing so good, I thought I was going to get past night two. I really did. I shouldn't have panicked. I should have waited. I needed to wait like a, a second longer, but I didn't. I 
only waited like two seconds. That's totally my fault. That was 100% my fault. I will admit that. I die in this because I panic and then I don't wait long enough. I start panicking. I was doing so good. I had Foxy under control, the bed was under control, everything was fine, I just panicked. So yeah. Uh, please, go check out my audio narrations. The whole playlist in chronological order is linked below. Go watch the rest of my FNAF 4 One Life series. It goes about as well as this video does, so more screaming for me if that's what you're here for. Go check out my FNAF 2 series, my One Life Challenge. I beat it. I did it. Go check that out. Go check out my most recent FNAF 1 video. Uh, here's the thumbnail. So yeah. Uh, that's all I really needed to say, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one for the last reattempt I'm going to do.